What's up guys, GT here. So I wanted to make this quick video to share with you guys the tone that you heard in the beginning of this video. It's a quick little demo that I was hooking up for a future video, but I thought I really liked the tone and I wanted to share it with you guys because why not? Sharing is definitely caring in my opinion. So let's dive into the Axe Edit real quick and dial it in. All right, so I've got Axe Edit loaded in front of me as always. I've got nothing in there, a blank preset. I'm playing my JP15 Music Man. I'm playing on the bridge pickup and everything's on full. Let's go ahead and dial in the first block, which is the amp. Now for the amp, as I mentioned, it's gonna be a Friedman HPE. So no brownie points for getting that. Let's go ahead and choose the amp. I'm gonna choose a Friedman HPE. A couple of Friedman HPE other amps as well in there. Really good ones, do check them out and read about them in the forum as well. It's really helpful. So I'm gonna choose the Friedman HPE and I'm gonna add in a cab as well. Now uh, for the cab, when you come to choose a cab for this particular amp, I think what works really well in my experience and from what I read is if your cab has V30 speakers or G G12H or G12M speakers, I think it's gonna work really, really well. For me, I think the V30 speakers kind of works really, really well. So you've got a lot of choices to make here in the XFX2 stock presets, and my presets are always stock. So you've got these cabs over here, and you've got a couple of V30 cabs here and here as well. I like these two quite a lot. These are my favorite. You've probably seen me dial them quite a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. This is a 4x12 standard rectifier cabinet with Celestian V30 speakers. It's mic'd with 57 and 121 mics already. So I'm gonna choose the cab. I'm gonna keep everything at stock. Let's hear how the preset is sounding. But before that, let's do a deal, right? If we can make this preset chug, you must leave me with a sub. I've done this deal before. Really worked out well for all of us. <laughs> Let's try it again. So if it chugs, you must leave me with the subs. So this is how it's sounding. Everything is stock. Sounds great right off the bat. I think uh, let this be a kind of a testament as to how simple some presets are usually. It's just an amp and a cab. We haven't changed even anything to be honest. But we're gonna tweak the amp and I'm gonna tweak the cab as well. And tweak it so that it kind of sits well in the mix. Now sits well in the mix for me, in my opinion, means that it kind of interacts well with other instruments in the mix as well, like the drum and the bass in this case. I usually go for a scoop sort of a sound when it comes to rhythm parts, to be honest. So we're gonna do that. Let's go ahead and start tweaking the amp. First things first, input drive. This amp has a lot of drive, but you must be careful. You wanna dial in the right kind of drive so that it stays heavy and and it doesn't become too too much as well to deal with so i think a sweet spot for me is between five and six i think i chose six which really gives me a good tone bass uh again too much bass is gonna interfere with other instruments in my opinion so i always like to dial it down a little bit i think between two and three is good enough to do i think i set it to 2.5 mids again is very very sensitive in this amp in my opinion too much mids will make your preset really really fat and i think that works well for dialing in sort of lead tones but i think for me since i was dialing in a scoop sort of a zone and a rhythm tone i think i worked with a lower mid setting which is going to be around 1.8 or 2 i think works really well so i'm going to dial it around exactly what i use 1.78 Treble, I'm gonna push it up to 7.64. It's gonna bring up that top end that we want. Presence is again a very good setting in this amp. I think it brings up the upper chiminess and the top end that, you know, and brings in some of the saturation as well in the amp. So I'm gonna dial it up quite high. Don't be afraid to play with this one you can crank it up and you can really feel that top end kind of shining through. Depth again is sensitive. I think too much depth can make it boomy too less depth kind of makes it hollow and boxy sounding to me, to be honest. So I kept it around five. It sounds kind of good over there. Master volume is a very tricky uh, knob in this amp. I think too much master volume. I think anything beyond five, in my opinion, kind of starts to get muddy and unclear and, you know, kind of flubby. So I think your sweet spot is between four and five. And it even loads up with the default setting as four. So for me, I think 4.72 is where I found the sweet spot for myself. For the cab, I went ahead and changed a few things here as well. Low cut, I always bring it up to 80 hertz. High cut, around 10,300, not changing too much over here. Also, I went to the room section and added a bit of air. This brings that fuzziness and that real amp sound that we want coming through here. So 20%, 5,600 hertz. 
Use headphones. I cannot recommend it enough. Use headphones when you're dialing in air. You will really hear the difference. It's subtle, but it's there. Anyways, with that done, I think that's the only changes I made. Let's hear how it's sounding. I think it chugs. <laughs> you know what to do, right? But anyways, I think it's a little bit noisy. So the next thing I did was add in a gate, which kind of controls that noise a little bit as well, when it's especially you're dialing in such high gain amps. So I always like to add a gate between the amp and the cab. This is something that I've been starting to do with my high gain presets, to be honest. Now, this is something that I learned from uh, ML uh, Sound Labs Miko, and he's got a video up on his channel. I'll link it down in the description box. Uh, we've got an input gate in the beginning of the signal chain, but I don't touch that much. I always prefer it after the amp. This really helps in you know controlling some of that extraneous noise that is coming from the amp because it's after the amp and before the cab. It it's a really good spot to add in the gate over there, and I think it controls some of the transients as well and makes the preset overall a bit tighter. So threshold again as per taste minus thirty ratio. I would recommend you keep it around two. Attack, again, one millisecond and hold. We don't want that much hold and release. Going for a quick release over here so that it kicks in and kicks off as quickly as it can. So with that done, this is how we're sounding now. sounds really really good to my ears i don't know what you guys let me know in the comments below as to how you think it is sounding and by the way when you're typing that comment make sure you give this video a like as well it really helps a lot one final thing you can do i did not do it in the preset but one final thing you can do is that if you're getting too much top end and you want to control that a little bit as well you can do it by adding a peq now nobody's stopping you from going into the cab changing the high cut or the low cut and stuff like that or tweaking it in the amp as well but i learned this as a good trick to do it after the cab it really helps me to kind of finalize and freeze most of my settings in the signal chain and then tweak stuff after it so a good way to control that is to go ahead into the uh, parametric eq and change the frequency type to blocking frequency 5 type to blocking to be honest and what that immediately does is that it creates that curve which is more like a low pass in there and it's going to cut off most of that top end and obviously it's going to be too much in this case so i think for me what really works well is around 7k where it really kind of tames the top end a little bit and kind of reduces that fizz overall that is there in the guitar tone to be honest now I did not use it, but it's something that you guys can always use. I'll play a little bit with it on and then I'm going to switch it off so that you guys can hear the difference. I won't talk in between, but you will hear me pressing the keyboard spacebar, which is a good way to switch on and off blocks, by the way. So this is it with it on. <laughs> I could play along with that preset for hours and hours and probably i have already you never know that's pretty much the tone guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you guys like this content and you want to see more of it make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell while you're down there and of course goes without saying it's a no-brainer and it doesn't cost you anything make sure you hit the like button on this video and as always i shall see you guys in the next video until then Stay safe guys, keep rocking, cheers, bye bye.